Hi guys, Brendan from TAT here. Um, today something a little bit different. I want to show you, I'm working on a Jeep and there's a very big difference between what I'm seeing on the scan tool data versus the scope data. So I've got this Jeep here um, for P0714, which is Transmission Temp Sensor Intermittent. And what I've got set up is on the scan tool, the Autel being in the, in the car, we're watching the transmission temperature there. Um, I've set up some masks on it, those uh, red lines at the top and bottom, so if it goes out of that, it will set an alarm. Um, and every now and then, that will drop into, um, you know, dropping out of that mask. I've, it will grab that, so whenever it drops out of the mask, it saves it, so I can go to review here, and we can go back, it's saved a couple where it jumped out. And so that's what I was seeing every now and then. I go, you beauty, we're on to something that I'm, I'm at least you know, going to find an issue here at some point. Now, I found it very interesting when I started to get a bit deeper because we need to ask, okay, is it the temperature sensor? Is it the, the connection? When I go to the scope, and so I've got, sorry about the glare, we'll get away. I've got the blue trace is down at the transmission. So I've, I've um, basically back probed into the connector at the transmission for the temp sensor. The green is up at the TCM, which is in the engine bay, so back probe there. So they should always equal the same. And then the red is the ground for that circuit. Obviously the, the blue and green are basically the, um, the power feed, which also acts as the, the sensor signal if you know um, how the internal PCM of a temperature sensor system works. So um, very interesting when I started to see these dropouts here, but they're very rhythmic. Right, And so as I started to look at the scan tool, I don't know if we'll be lucky enough to, to see one um, live, but basically if I get it to start going again, which we should go back, if we start going, if we're lucky enough, every now and then it would catch one of these and I'm watch, sitting here watching them at the same time and it did line up exactly with when these were happening. Now those are obviously rhythmic and obviously something the PCM is doing, or TCM in this instance. So I'd say that's probably some kind of circuit integrity test that it's doing where it looks like it drops the power feed to this um, temp sensor and it must be looking to, to see that that responds in a way that it does. Um, a very odd circuit this one, so I noted that you know, right now we're up at about 3.5 volts. When you're below 50 degrees it actually reads down in a scale between about 2 to 1 volt and then as soon as you get to about 50 degrees, you see a, a PID on the scan tool changes from cold to hot and it actually changes the voltage up. We're now working in a range of about four to two and a half volts and that's where we are now and it starts to do this rhythmic checking. So there's a lot going on on this transmission um, temperature sensor circuit that the, P, the TCM is doing. Um, it's not just a steady five volt supply that it's got, but I'm very happy that I saw these and I saw it matching up. There we go, actually, we just caught one. Um, so it'll only do that every now and then and that's what I wanted to show in this video, that this is a scan tool showing that the refresh rate is not quick enough on the scan tool to catch that because I can tell you definitely on the, on the wire, truly that's what's happening and that's what's happening in the TCM. But on the scan tool, the refresh rate is just not quick enough to catch those, those little dropouts that are happening. So always take your scan data with a grain of salt. It would have been very easy when I saw these dropouts here to say, okay, you know what? It's, it's probably gonna be a temp sensor inside the transmission. Now the temp sensor on this is built into the solenoid valve body essentially. This is, we're talking big money, right? So there's, there's no just jump in and let's maybe try a sensor on this. It's a, an expensive component. We need to be um, exact with our diagnostics. So just something to keep in mind. Scan tool data is not always true data. Scope data, we can trust that. That's what's happening. And obviously on a multimeter you could try. I did do it just out of interest. Multimeter wasn't quick enough to pick it up either. So just let's have a quick look. These are very small little um, flicks of the, the voltage that it's giving. So if I put a measurement there, so every now and then it's doing like a, sorry, up here, about a 28, call it 30 millisecond dropout of the power supply to this PCM as some kind of strategy. Who knows what they're doing, right? I found it very interesting though. So I hope you got something from that guys. Uh, make sure that we're um, going that extra mile and sort of confirming our diagnosis before jumping the gun. And remember, you can always charge for this diagnostics. There's no um, shame in not being able to come to the conclusion straight away and taking the temptation of, of pulling the trigger and saying we need this part because it's probably going to be that. Um, you could get caught out with a very expensive component here. 
If you're not a member of TAT, check out www.tat.net.au. Join the thousands of other members that are sharing knowledge, information and experience for things like this. Thank you.